As you enter the caldera in Yellowstone National Park from the south, one of the first places to check out geothermal features is West Thumb Geyser Basin. This trail is on boardwalks and is less than a mile long. Be sure to check the map when you arrive and to stay on the boardwalks. The ground in this area is thin and you could break through. If we're coming from the south, we heard Abbey Trails Hiking always plan a stop at West Thumb Geyser Basin. It is the largest geyser basin on the shores of Yellowstone Lake. The hydrothermal features in this location is thought to have a heat source that is relatively close to the surface. You're looking at abyss pool. It is around 53 feet deep. It was named in 1935 by Chief Park Naturalist C.M. Bauer for its impressive deepness. This is called Black Pool and it ranges from 35 to 40 feet deep. The geysers and hot springs in this area are not known to erupt very often, but are known for their beautiful colors. Fishing Cone is another hot spring that's located in the area. The first recorded description of Fishing Cone comes from the 1870 Washburn Expedition, where they talked about catching a fish and boiling it right in the hot spring. The West Thumb area used to be the site of a large campground with cabins, a photo shop, a cafeteria, and a gas station. It was located right next to the geyser basin. Now, to protect the scenic quality and the resource that visitors are coming to see, the National Park Service has removed this development. We highly recommend a stop and a hike at West Thumb Geyser Basin when you're in Yellowstone National Park. We have a whole playlist on Yellowstone travel and I would invite you to join us for some more videos. Till next time, this is Kay from Happy Trails Hiking. We hope to see you in our parks.